How many times have you been told to quit? How many times have you been told that you're not good enough, that you should stop, that there's no point because you'll never reach your goals? How many times have those words come out of the mouths of the people that you love and or respect? Well, how many of those times have you said no to the naysayers, risen above the occasion and conquered everything they said you couldn't? My name is Carlos Sakuna, and today I want to talk to you about one word that has completely changed my life, one word that has developed my character into what it is today. That one word is the word perseverance. Now, if you're asking yourself, well, you know what, Carlos, I've persevered many things in my life. I'm sure you have. So what's the point of me watching this presentation then? Well, here's the answer to that question. I'm glad you asked that question because if you're human like myself, you've gone through difficult times in your life. You've gone through ruts. You've gone through forks in the road. And by the time you forget my name and you've watched this presentation and you watch it in the future, I want you to tell yourself this. If that guy Carlos from the video, from the video presentation was capable of persevering, why can't I? That's the answer to that question. And I know I don't have all the time in the world, so I'm only gonna share two major points in my life that have developed this persevering character within me. The first is this, at the age of 26. At the age of 26, I suffered a low back injury. A low back injury that I feel the pain to this day giving you this presentation right now. I have to take prescribed medication, but at the age of 26, I was very pessimistic about it. I went through depression. Why? Because coming from an undergraduate of kinesiology, I'm very attached to health and fitness. When the doctors told me that I wasn't going to be able to exercise anymore, that left me in a trance of, I don't know what to do with my life anymore. It took me a year and a half to get out of that mentality. And it wasn't until I met a friend who gave me a speech kind of like this one. And in a nutshell, she said this, she says this, Carlos, we all have a sad story. What makes your story better than mine, better than his or hers. That little speech she gave me that night changed my life forever, changed my mentality, my character. I went back to the gym the next day, crying, suffering, and on my medications, and I whooped myself back into shape. Three years later, I'm standing before you here today, how I am now physically. But not only that, it also developed something within me mentally, a fortitude, a persevering fortitude mindset that anything coming my way, I know I will conquer because that's the only option I have. With that, I wanna go into the next portion of this. At the age of 29, at the age of 29, I went through a heartbreak and I know we all go through heartbreaks in life. I was with a person for 10 and a half years and I know if you've gone through a heartbreak, you know how hard that is. But to tie in this, we had already planned our entire lives together. I was at the medical center getting a master's in respiratory care and that's what I was supposed to do, right? But then I was very unhappy. I found myself in another state of unhappiness, of feeling miserable going in and out of that school. So I decided to call it quits with that school. When I called it quits, she called it quits with me. I was at point blank. I didn't know what to do with my life. I was at a loss for words. I didn't know what to do. So I went back to the first job that I had, which was HEB. And I took a position in produce where I had to lift my entire shift. Lifting boxes is what I mean. And I was terrified, I was petrified because I already feel pain. Why would anyone in their right mind put themselves in more pain? But only through pain will you find success. I actually have a tattoo on my left bicep that says, love the pain, change your mindset. That is how exactly how I live my life now. I love the positions that put you in that discomfort zone because only through those positions can you reach your biggest potential growth. Through persevering through those moments in life, will you get to your goals? So I wanna leave you here with this to end this presentation here today. Trust the process. Know that through the process lies your actual success because many of us have goals, but we're not willing to go through the process. Trust the process, persevere, and you will reach success. Thank you very much.